Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Now that story about the Nigerian mathematical genius I told you about. A 15-year-old Nigerian, Faith Odunsi, has won the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, defeating participants from Europe, America, Asia, Australia, and other African countries. Uh, she is an SS3 student of the Ambassador School in Ota, Ogun State. She won the competition with a margin of 30 points at the finals, with the first runner-up scoring 10 points. That means she got 40 points. She says her school's extra classes helped her prepare for the competition. Let's now take a look at uh, Ms. Adunsi as she answers about uh, 19 questions in a minute. Carl Belpedia, 60 seconds of fame starts now. What is the... 20, 64. Correct. Multiply 1 over 3 by 5, 5 over 6. Correct. What is or are the prime Two. factors? Correct. The cost or price of a gas cylinder is 8,000. 24,000. Correct. What is the 7? 28. Point? Correct. What is the sum of the prime numbers between 1 and 5? 10. Correct. Convert 70% to... 7 point. over 10. Correct. Express 0 0.00. 2.4 times 10 is by minus 5. Correct. Convert for... 0 0.8. Correct. Approximate 5 to 5... 5.5... 513. Correct. Simplify 10 to by minus 4. 0 0.00001. Incorrect. What is the square root of the product of 4 and 9? 6. Correct. How many hours are there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the same day? 6. Correct. Simplify minus 17 plus minus 8 plus minus 10. Minus 35. Correct. How many prime numbers is... 1. Correct. Find the value of 60 minus 70 minus 40. 30. Correct. Find the HCF of 8. 8. Correct. Evaluate the square root of 6 bracket six. plus 2. Correct. Find the product of minus 4 and minus 24. 6. 24. Correct. Evaluate 25 minus minus 30. 55. Correct. Wow. Carbopedia. Wow. Yeah, Just wow. I could do that. Just that's, that's, wow. That's oh, a, my God. I don't even know 1 plus 1. Please don't ask me. But look easy. at faith. It's easy stuff. It's so okay. It was one plus one. <laughs> Do you know? Being that? honest, I couldn't. I couldn't even catch up. What? You know, it's it, it's 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 the pace at which you know you can calculate some of those things. And I know that when I was her age, I, I'm I'm sure I wouldn't be able to do it in I one mean, minute in sixty seconds. See, hell no. I don't mind the internet troll, but I know how many math teachers my mom got me when I was a child just to be able to do basic. Math my father is a professor I of, of hate math and statistics i hate <laughs> math so for me to see a young girl a 15 year old nigerian winning so much medals i mean she was declared a queen of mathematics from jss3 to ss2 she's won the national olympiad uh, you know competition she's won competitions medals in several other countries with her knowledge of mathematics this girl is a genius, she's a genius. and she deserves all the commendation all the supports that she needs. And this means that we should always, always, it's just a call to every other parent to give your children the support they need. If you see that they're, you know, seem to be gifted in certain aspects, you give them, you give them so, resources they need to thrive and grow in that field. Yeah, so, so what I'm thinking really is another reminder that Nigeria has some of the most talented people on the planet. Best some minds. of the, the, the greatest minds, the best brains on the planet. But Nigeria itself seems to <laughs> muzzle and, you know, hide those things. And that's why people thrive so much when they leave Nigeria. It's not an easy thing to say. It's painful, actually, you know, that when people move to Canada, move to New York, move to, you know, California, wherever in the world, Sweden, they become exceptional. You look at, you know, some of the best medical brains outside Nigeria, they are Nigerians oh in Saudi Arabia, mm. in the U.S., and in the U.K. Some of the best of them are Nigerians. I heard Nigerians. about the only doctor in the U.S. that's a doctor of think of the heart and the kidney. The only doctor of that in Nigeria in in the U.S. is a Nigerian. So we have we do. I, I agree with you when you say we have the best minds, but it's just so sad that we don't have the system to support us. But when we thrive out elsewhere, you now have government issue press statements telling you congratulations. Yeah, they would they would celebrate you. They would congratulate oh, you. You know, but it, it's it's. You know, these are some of the signs that, you know, it, it almost means that there's the country itself that limits the, the you know, the, 
distance that some of these people can go, some of these very, very brilliant minds can go. There's so much that faith, you know, will be able to achieve just by being such a mathematical genius. And she could work in is, so many, she worked in NASA. Yes. Um, I don't know if you heard the story about this guy. He, he won an, an, a global IT competition, but he was gunned down by police, of, police yeah. officers. So it's just so sad how with all the potentials we have, everything we can, we can accomplish, we have systems that seem to be rigged against you. Yeah. In the country. Let, let's, let's let change, Faith please. be, you know, a 19 year old with her laptop, you know, coming from a mathematical competition where she just won gold once again and then be stopped by police on her way to. Why do you have a laptop? Are you a girl? Yeah. That, that's, that's the story, you know, here. Sad. And it, it hurts. And, and I, I feel, you know, that we, when everyone watches these things, including police officers, including the Nigerian government, they should feel, should feel bad that we don't have that environment where these people can totally uh, thrive. Yes, you give, you know, her school kudos. There's, well, I can't remember the name of the school in Ota and Ogun State. You know, we'll give them First kudos for being able to yeah. groom this, this brilliant mind. That's where we wrap it up this morning. Thank you so much for joining us and for being with us all through Hump Day. It's a, it's a Wednesday, middle of the week. Yes. And uh, we want to wish you a very, very interesting day ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. If you missed out on any of this. Yes, social media at Plus TV Africa. For me, I'm taking my calculator, my pen and my paper. Let me try to see which national math composition I can win in six months time. Just kidding. Thanks for being a part of our day and letting us be a part of yours. Have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday.